We've discussed before the fact that when light enters a medium with a lower index of refraction, it bends away from the normal. And in fact, it might bend away too much and not enter the second medium. For example, here, if it bends away at 90 degrees and theta 2 is equal to 90, then the light does not enter the second medium and there is no refracted ray. And this happens, in fact, for an angle theta 1 max. Because if the angle is smaller, then theta 2 will also be smaller. It will still bend away from the normal, but less. If we have anything greater than theta 1 max, then the theta 2 will try to be greater than 90, which is impossible, and there will be no refracted ray. And if we want to find the value of theta 1 max, given that theta 2 is 90, we can use Snell's law and write that n1 sine theta 1 max is equal to n2 sine theta 2. But that is equal to n2 sine of 90. And sine of 90 is 1. Therefore, that's just n2. And that means that sine of theta 1 max is equal to n2 over n1, which means that theta 1 max is inverse sine, or arc sine, whatever you prefer, of n2 over n1. And any angle greater than theta 1 max will not produce a refracted ray. The light that hits at a greater angle than this will be totally reflected off the surface and will be trapped in this medium.